Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on how to check the battery capacity of a Fiat 500e. We're going to need three things to do this procedure. First thing you're going to need is an Android device or a Windows PC. They, unfortunately right now they don't support um, Apple products. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully they change that in the future. But for now, all they do is, is Android and uh, Windows. So I'm using a tablet right here. So you have to download this program. It's called Alpha OBD. And that stands for Onboard Diagnostics. And this will actually, this actually uh, will work um, with all Alpha Romeo, all, all, actually all Fiat Chrysler products pretty much. So it's actually good to have if you have any of these cars actually. But it, it does work on the... Uh, the 500e as well so um, yeah, it's actually a free program um, there's a demo version which is what I'm using it actually does everything that the professional version does minus timing out like every 20 minutes or so and it's real it's really no big deal because all you do is close the program reopen it and it's fine so it's no big deal so you need one two and then third item you're gonna need is this uh, scanner um, this is a Conway unit Bluetooth and um, this goes for about $16 on eBay. I just checked. Actually, this one's a couple years old. I actually bought this for my Leaf originally, but it actually works for this car as well. So it's good for me. Um, this one is KW902, and this is definitely confirmed to work. So you can just type in that number and find it. 16 bucks on eBay. And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there's numerous ways you can go about it. I turned the car on first. It doesn't really matter. You can actually plug in the device first. But I'm just, for simplicity, I'm going to do it this way. And so it's located right here. There's a um, little slot right here. It's real easy to get to. You don't even have to hunt for it. It's actually right there, clearly visible. So we just plug this dude in. Turn it on. Red light comes on. And then we go into our program here. This is what it looks like right here. Now it does remember your settings, so the first time will be a little bit different. Oh yeah, actually, um, yeah, so it remembers my settings because this is where I was at before. So the first time you'll have to select your car and all that. And so you just go down the list, you just go Fiat, select car. Actually, we'll just do it right now, why not? Five hundred E. Select function. Battery management. And then we're going to want to go into battery pack control module variable two. And then just hit connect. Oh yeah, you'll see it over here. The Bluetooth light will come on, that's telling you that it's connected, and all the green lights means it's doing all of its stuff to actually connect to things. So, yeah, if you see the disconnect, that means you're connected now. So now you just go over here, there's a little battery icon right here. Go there, and then read system status. You see a whole bunch of stuff comes up now. So it's actually pretty interesting, there's a lot of information in here. Lots and lots and lots of information. You have to keep scrolling down. Yeah, it's not super easy. It's um, tucked in here. One of the most important things you need, one of the most important uses of the program, and yet it's buried down underneath all this stuff. Okay, so here we go. So here's our number right here. So HV BAT, SOH, state of health. So it's currently 86.27% on my car here. And of course, my car is a 14 and it's 44,203 miles. So kind of surprised that it's um, that low actually but uh, since I'm a second owner I mean it had 30,000 when I bought it so 
don't know if what it came with. Um, I just found out recently about this program myself, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. But um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly um, how much it's changed, but it's probably a good idea to check it every thousand miles or so, and then just kind of see how it goes. It's always good to keep the battery between 20 and 80 percent if you can help it. And um, also, you might notice down here that there's an there's an SOHR and an SOHC. And you can see that that one's 92.9, the other one's 78.4. And so I think, I'm not exactly 100% sure what that is, but it seems to be averaging, the average seems to be the 86.27. So I think it, th there's probably modules in the pack, and it's probably some of the modules are lower than others, or that 71 is probably the lower end of the spectrum, and uh, the 90 one is probably a higher end of the spectrum. That's, so it probably averages out. That's what I speculate. I mean, that seems to be the most logical. And also, there's another interesting thing as I scrolled up here. This is state of charge history. So, as you can see here, my car has quite a lot of minutes at 80 to 100 percent. So it's been always been, it's always been charged up and it's always been kept in that 80 to 100 percent. So, ideally, if you really want to extend the life of your battery, it's a good idea to keep your car between 20 and 80. And as you can see, this car right here is not had any time below 20, which is good. But you probably want to kind of limit that 80 to 100 too, if you can avoid, you know, keep keep it out of that 80 to 100 range as much as you can. But of course, most people are going to discharge their car to 100%. So that's probably what's happened here. And, you know, you just leave it alone. And But I'm just saying, if you want to extend the battery, if you really want to master a million miles, you know, that's that's a little bit of advice. But anyway, so... Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.